thanks for joining me. In this video, we will discuss what I and hundreds of thousands of other retirees are doing to avoid poverty. I am Sandy Ingram, a retired expat from Northern California who is now traveling the world slowly. I research affordable and safe budget retirement destinations, and for this video, I am in Sao Paulo, aka Santos area of Brazil. Take a walk with me as I walk across the street from my Airbnb apartment and reveal factors U.S. retirees are facing. According to the World Population Review, over 10 million Americans live offshore. More and more of these 10 million Americans who live outside of the United States are retirees who find it difficult to make ends meet on $2,000 to $3,000 a month in the United States. While many of the most recent expats are digital nomads, including myself, hundreds of thousands of us have discovered that we can live well on less in foreign countries. We have moved offshore, where the cost of living is much cheaper. Are retirees living outside of the U.S. happy? Most of us are happy. It depends on your expectations and your ability to adjust. I work online creating freelance opportunities for myself. Because I travel while I work, I am considered a digital nomad. It makes me happy to indulge in my work and report on budget retirement options. I also have a couple other news channels that I answer to. Do we miss our home country? Yes, very much. However, exciting new events occur daily. We learn new things meet new people, and enjoy new experiences. Can this replace grandchildren and living in the country we were born and raised in? No, but it's an acceptable substitute. At least we are independent, not relying on children or grandchildren, and we are creating a new life, which many children of expats appreciate because it gives them a low-cost vacation option. For retirees who cannot adjust to living offshore, they complain and return home. Am I trying to get you to move offshore? No. The more Americans who show up in Mexico, Central America, and even South America, the higher the rents go. However, I feel obligated to share how hundreds of thousands of others, and I have escaped poverty while retired. Mexico used to be a hot spot. However, it is becoming increasingly expensive to qualify to live there. In 2024, for a single person temporary residence, you need to show a monthly income of $4,350. Living in countries like Mexico doesn't mean we miss out on much. Mexico City, a getaway destination for all residents, has Broadway-type shows and more than 150 museums. It is one of the top museum hubs in the world, not to mention the diverse neighborhoods and almost every nationality in the world calling the city home. Acapulco is the getaway destination for the locals in Mexico City. This YouTube channel features travel documentaries and information on affordable and safe retirement places. Although you may not qualify to live full-time in Mexico, you can arrive and receive a six-month visa stay stamped in your passport. At the end of the six months, many people leave the country and fly back in for another six-month stay. I am unsure how long this procedure will last, but I've used it for 10 years with little to no problem. I am in South America scouting out additional places to spend 90 days without filling out any paperwork. Then I head back to Mexico or spend another 90 days in another South American country. I love my country. However, I am not willing to live in poverty just to be able to live in the United States. 
not when retirement options include sandy beaches like this one, warm nights, handsome men, and a low cost of living.